All right, hey everyone. Camera just a little bit. Uh, a couple things. Um, so, fun announcement. I got um, an email yesterday that I got accepted into the uh, Magic Online creator platform. Uh, so, I'll be making, I'll be streaming a little bit more often, and I'll be uh, put into the uh, creator clash every once in a while and I'll have some giveaways for play points uh, on the channel I think the Creator program launches fully in like a week or two um, And then I'll have like more knowledge of how exactly that's going to work um, But It's basically an initiative to promote magic online and you know, get people kind of on board because it is sort of uh, inaccessible to a degree where it's it's a uh, not the most approachable program in the world. <laughs> hey, Dalal. Um, sorry. Um, so I've got. So that that's that's exciting and cool. Um, we'll see where that goes. Uh, next thing is I got a cyber guide update on the Patreon for Turbo Muxus, and I'm working on one for Vile. It, the Vile one is just going to take longer because it's a lot more changing to the deck list. I did, I think I changed like one card in the Turbo Muxus list, I, but I did add Scaminator um, and Green White Depths and got rid of old Black Scam, which doesn't exist anymore, and Black of Reanimator, which has largely been eaten by um, Blue Black. So basically same deck list as before. I realize it's not the most like <clears throat> popular uh, version of the deck. Um, like I've still got two War Chiefs and most of the people cut War Chief. And like I can see going I can totally see going to one and adding, you know, fourth Album Master, fourth matron or something else, um, but I've I've just had the most personal success with the deck that way with the six haste creatures, haste lords. Um, oh, and the other thing about the this kind of intersects with the the content creator thing is um, I get a content account. Now I'm not going to use it for like playing all that often because. Uh, you can't like use your QPs that you get. Like you can't transfer them to another account because you can't play in premier events with the content account. Um, however, I will be using it to play kind of more wacky builds and also trying out stuff that um, you know cards I don't have like expensive cards that I don't want to buy just to like play for like a league. So that'll give me a bit more experimentation uh, as far as Turbo Maxis goes because I have like the cards for Vile in whatever iteration really you know reavers here <laughs> sorry sorry evan what's the closest thing to a reaver in goblins mm. you know actually bombardiers is just a reaver it's, well it's a little too maybe it's too fast to be a reaver it doesn't really shuffle along you know but Bomb Bomba's maybe maybe Sling Gang Sling Gang's a Reaver. Siege Gang Commander would be a Reaver. Slow, throws dudes, and it can blow up, you know, face or creatures. Siege Gang Commander. <laughs> Does this make Pashlik Mons the Scarab damage upgrade? Hmm. <laughs> um, so, that's to remix the stuff. So with Vile, working on Cyber Guy for this, I've changed a good amount. Um, most notably, in order to improve the Beans matchup, 
um, Popular Beans with Solitude, I've gone up to a second Mass Vandal because I think attacking their card advantage by actually rolling up a Beanstalk um, will be good. And also the, getting the two for one on um, Leyline Binding is really good. Like whenever they lay a, Leyline Binding a thing and then you Vandal it back, it's just like insane. So it was that or play more Blood Moons. Um, and I think the second Vandal is probably a little bit better because they're relatively prepped for Blood Moon. Um, so yeah, I... So we 4 won last time in a pretty sick series. I am 1-0 in this league already. Um, I played a match last night, and this was uh, Black White Taxes. Beat that. It was like it was like a weird list. Um, there was Plague Engineer. There was Eidolon of Rhetoric. Uh, <laughs> Eidolon was like almost. It was like kind of good. It's good against Sticker Goblin. Hey, Jared. Nice to see you. So, also in other, in other news, um, my new microphone, my Shure uh, M7X or whatever, fancy one, is coming this Thursday. So in a week. Um, hey, Clipfish. Um, so, we'll cut this background noise and get some proper audio going on here. Because it's been a little scuffed lately. Generally thinking about how to improve my production quality. All right, <clears throat> on the play with a oh, this is an interesting hand. Double waste port, really good mana. Like this hand has no bad draws basically. I think nobody. Force of Will's Skirt Prospector, so I can just lead it on Mountain here. Now, there is downside if I like draw a Lackey, and then I want a Wasteland. And I would want to Cavern it, so... Alright, looks like Goblins or Moon Stumpy? Fable, Moon Stumpy, okay. All right, so I'm looking for munitions expert, jump on incinerator. Hey. Um. Now this is interesting. All right, so I'm actually gonna pass, and I'll wait for them to rummage. I don't think the one damage matters here. They don't have instant speed removal, so what I can do is I can wait for them to rummage and also potentially play a Bombardiers, and I have rather expert Bombardiers. I just want to delay the game here so I can cast the String Leader. If my Skirk survives the turn, I'll sack Expert to cast Ring Leader a turn earlier. Probably. I might port. Depends on what they discard here. And what they do with their turn. Discard a spirit guide. Okay. I really want to... Oh, it's initiative. Oh, that's so much worse. <laughs> Alright. Because now I could also get solituded here. Be kind of a blowout.
Wow, you do not see initiative anymore. This is like the first initiative match in forever. Uh, yeah, okay. That's pretty worst case scenario. Do I block? I think I do. Makes Bombardiers a worse draw, but not really even. Damn. All right. Probably lose from here. Turn Fable, turn two uh, Season Dungeon Year plus Solitude is a really strong hand versus a pretty mediocre one from me. You could still draw like Sticker Goblin. Um, though Kiki Jiki is probably going to kill me pretty fast. have another thing. Jesus. Okay, I, I'm dead. That was a really good initiative hand. I actually want the Stink Scourger, not really. Horde Master is not particularly good in this matchup. Is it better than Vandal? I like that Vandal pops Kiki when you're on the play, like before they rummage sometimes. So I don't think I'll do that. Also, Touch the Spirit Realm can come up. Ugh. Alpha Bahamut, thanks for the follow. This is a tough one. It's either putting back Skirk or Matron. I think it's Skirk. I don't think I'll have enough material for... Uh... Okay, the Mulligan to five. Since they mulligan to five, I think I'll lead on Lackey. I'm going to fetch Taiga for Archon reasons. I 
The Eating with Lackey makes a removal spell kind of a game-winning draw. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Jump Palm, Expert, Pyrokinesis. Uh, no Rune Belt, no Sting Scourger. Okay, second Lackey's not bad. Do wish I let on Vile now. So my Vile would be going to two. And then I could draw land expert. Yeah, maybe you're just always supposed like initiative doesn't ever not play something on turn one, it feels like. So okay, they discard a fable to fable. That's good for me. Okay. Kind of feels like containment priest, and then I lose. But hopefully, I can just draw a removal spell. I do have a lot of them. That's not one of them. Well, okay. If they containment priest, then they don't get Kiki. Okay. Okay. I don't know why they didn't block. So still just looking for any removal spell. If they attack, I'll double block. play initiative creature, I kind of have to throw my board into it, which kind of sucks. Nothing. Okay. Alright, give me a land. Pashlik Mons is really bad. <laughs> this fucking Caracas. Though they might, if they tap it, then it, then it becomes good. Second Priest. Four mana. A oh, spirit guides fall too. Okay. Honestly, I'm I'm fine with that. Really glad you're liking it. To, uh, oh, please don't please don't have an initiative creature. <laughs> they totally do. Oh my god. Oh. Uh, annoying. It kills the lackey. Okay, they're out of cards. Pyrokinesis would be really good. <laughs> Skirk, Prospector. Um, I 
Hmm. He went through 301 <laughs> with uh, last weekly night with Violent. Felt like a genius. Yeah. So I can go, I can play Matron here. Get Expert. Upkeep, kill priest. Well, putting in Patrick, and I'll just take up. Does it get better than that? The Caracas is randomly screwing me over quite a bit. So I just need to fade a removal spell. Though, um... Initiative creature would also be pretty bad for me. Take five. Really want to draw a port, a bomb. I mean, Bombardier's my best draw, but that's basically always the case with uh, this matchup. to start locking. Opponent notably does not have true red mana, so Fable is not castable here. Oh no, they knew.
Prospector's not bad. You sure about that? <laughs> you sure about that? No idea. I did not touch anything. Can can you guys hear me? And is audio okay? Yeah, the level's okay. How about how about here? Yeah, I, I'm 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 turning it up slowly. I'll have to check the VOD. I have no idea what that could have been. Okay. Sorry, guys. I had no idea what happened. Legitimately awful. I, 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 I have no clues what that could have been. Uh, new microphone next week. I think Vandal is a little slow on the draw. I'm playing Magic Online, yeah. We'll do this. I could see an argument to cut Pashalik. Hey, JR. Greetings from Tokyo, cool. Oh man, this hand is like... Yeah, this hand, this hand, this hand's good, it's just like... Sounded like the score to under the skin. That's horrifying. <laughs> That's like <laughs> so disturbing. <laughs> All right, Kavanaugh human, Lotus Petal, pass. Oh, name sticker's really good. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, my opponent will probably play initiative creature here. Yeah. Gets a mountain. Notably does not have white mana for plow. Okay, so we can, can turn the heat up. We could oh man, there's a lot of choices we have. So we can waste, well, it's really two choices, not a lot. <laughs> we can wasteland the ancient tomb and then hope that 
Lackey, Violin, Battlecry, Activate gets me the initiative. But really what I need to be doing is setting up to kill a Dungeoneer with Bombardiers, putting a Muxus into play, and racing. I mean, a Sticker Goblin Battlecry can also race. So I think I want to play Battlecry here. And I'll play Wasteland. It's going to be a close race. There is some argument that I'm supposed to put in the lackey before the untap because of containment priest. Actually, if they if they priest, then name sticker becomes really good because then I can go sticker battle cry lackey activate probably. I want to play around fury too though. Play the mountain. This is probably a. Hmm. It's mildly terrifying. Feel city traders. Now, reveal a land card, put it in your hand if it's land. Okay, so they have a city in hand. So this is five, seven. Jesus Christ. Can I throw this at my face? This, this actually might work out well for me. Despite being at seven. And I have a city. Okay, so it can't really be anything. Yeah. Yeah, opponent got a little trigger happy. So I can mux this here. Problem is, I have to win the game this turn. Basically. So I can go... Name sticker, battle cry, name sticker, violin, battle cry, cast, lackey, activate. If I, if I roll, assume, assume I roll a four, then that's uh, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven damage, and the slim gang finishes. So I think we just have deterministic lethal here. Six. Yeah, Slim comes in off Lackey Trigger. Yeah, I have two lackey triggers. Uh, Mike. Wow, that's actually it's it's one it's one damage short. That's hilarious. Woodman Dentist. 
what's the what's the confusion here? So if we rolled a four, then we still go vile activate or vile lackey activate ha have one floating that gets wasted. Uh, attack for two, four, five, eight, eleven, and then put in matron, put in sling. Close one. I think opponent did kind of punt though. They needed to wait. They needed to wait until my until their end of turn. Well, I guess here's the thing. Here's the thing. If if I read them as having solitude and I just pass priority, like if they pass to end step and I pass priority, then I just becomes my turn and they can't post bond readers anymore. Um. So they miss out on seven damage. And then in that case, I could um, I mean, at that point, I could just couldn't they have won there with Bond sacking Solitude? But it wouldn't be their turn anymore. Like they attack. Oh, the turn they did it. Uh, the solitude targeted my guy. They threw salt. The bombardiers targeted my face. They did. They, that's what. The, that's what happened. That's why my first battle cry died. So the, it, my first battle cry died to the solitude uh, trigger. The bombardiers through the solitude at me. With some follows, uh, DZ's Stabolo, uh, Stabolo and Mr. Master, thanks for the follows. Now, would I have respected solitude? Hmm. I don't know. All right, opponents, goblins. Both like the. All right, I recognize the username because opponents usually playing like the really low to the ground version of goblins. That's a no lander. Wow, two no landers. <laughs> That's. <laughs> what are the odds of two two no landers in a twenty four card or twenty four land deck, sixty one card deck? How does somebody somebody give me the stats for that so I can be appropriately upset? <laughs> Come on, deck. The first hand was good if it had a land. A land of any kind. Three pair is pretty good, though. Can't. Three pair is, is also unusual. <laughs> Shuffler! You know what might have been the weird noise? Loose cable. Cause something, maybe? Hold on, let me, let me see my miserable five. <laughs> Mulligan. God. <sighs> Not even a good five. Let's 
So it seems my audio is showing less background noise. Is it better than it was before? Can anyone confirm or deny? All right, Pence also on five. All right, we're gonna go Scalding Torn Pass, Bluff being Delver. Kind of slow plays and then gets ported. It is? Oh, that is interesting. I want to keep a no lander? Okay, so we both had multiple no landers. That's very funny. Um, let's not show the port then. Play Horde Master. Early TTV, thanks for the follow. Alright, how do we slam the doors shut and make sure this game doesn't become out of control? So I can either get a removal spell or a threat. Slanking looks kind of good with this setup. Gives me a sack out for the uh, Horde Master. Could also just get Ringleader. Um, could get Battlecry. Battlecry activate is four, seven, eight, nine, ten damage. It also gives me, like, if they draw land, then uh, I can still, like, play my thing plus port. I'll probably play the War Marshal then. Okay, Chrome Mox. Here we go. Bomber Ears. Okay. Just not going to discard. Let's max out on damage right now, I think. It's possible I've taken like the only line that loses. <laughs> if I just got a rule spell, now they can't go they couldn't go sticker. Yeah. Yeah, I probably did that. Yeah, yeah. This was done with me. Yeah, draw six. Yeah. Oh man, that's so, that's so bad. Okay, that's not a sufficient Muxus. So they have four blockers, you know, the bombardiers. Oh, that's, that's probably game. Um, uh, so if I activate again, it's 
four blockers. They block, blo uh, block, 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 block. Is this my one short? Block, 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 block. No, they're dead. Okay. Oh, yeah, I didn't. Uh, yeah, that, that was bad. I missed a damage. But more than that. Okay. Terrible game. <laughs> I took the only line that lost. Got lucky. Mm, I don't think my opponent's on the ring build. So I'll not board in the second vandal. I'll leave in the one. Trim a lackey, trim a battle cry. Horde should be quite good here. It's really good at making Pyrokinesis less of a blowout because you get your cards back. Um. Yeah, I just don't think Battlecry is that normally that important in the mirror. But I, yeah, I'm sure you love it when you play the ring. <laughs> Chase, just dack it. And their Muxuses don't do anything. Mm. Sand is good cards, but it's not really... the way I want to approach the mirror. I don't know if that means I'm mulligan it, though. Hmm. I think it's a little slow. I'm going to keep this and hope that Double Wasteland does something. Shit. <laughs> okay, who drew Vile? Probably start dying next turn, though. <laughs> no! Triple Spirit Guide. Okay. Okay. Alright. Jump Palm Incinerator into Pyrokinesis stabilizes this. <laughs> Uh-huh. Uh... I think I don't want to fetch because I don't want to take damage. Okay. I wish I had Muxus in my hand instead of Ringleader. So, I don't think this is 18. Really sick to steal this one. Uh, that isn't good enough, so. Oh, that is so fucking close. Uh, 
spot. We have four blockers. Are, oh, we're exactly dead. I died because I fetched. Oh, man. I died because I fetched. That's that's cra crazy. Also, could have mulliganed differently. Alright, double checking math here. I think I'm dead, but. Yep, that's three. Alright. Alright. Damn. Sling Gang could have stabilized that game. Uh, let's get the fourth lackey in on the play. And I'm going to cut the, the Vandal based on how this has been playing. Red cards are really important. Mm. No Pyrokinesis ever is pretty shit, but... Again, I think Bio Wasteland's got a decent shot against Turbo Muxus, and I've got some really important cards. Pash looks good. Just turn one Moxus. Alright, that was kind of bullshit. <laughs> kind of bullshit. Could have mulliganed. Could I honestly, I, I really should have won the game too. I, I should have realized that I should keep Moxus there for, for lanky top deck potential. That was like genuinely a mistake. Lanish thanks to the follow. But also, you know. I'm very aware of how often turn one Moxus happens and it's not. Yeah, didn't see the pirate pieces. If I'd fetched Tanka, you may have had a chance. Hmm. On the draw here. I don't like only having one. Red source. But turn two matron, turn three sticker. Okay. Okay. Drawing a thing to do is nice. Could see an argument to wastelanding that, but since they kept a card on top, I'm assuming they didn't keep a one lander, right? So, and if they did, then they found the second land. Judge them. All right, I'm being scammed. Hand's pretty resilient to scammage. Control of Casa Doom. Yeah, makes sense. Brainstorm. Interesting. I 
kind of think you would do that first, right? That's interesting. So this means opponent wants to cycle. End of turn. Not wastelanding me after seeing I don't have a red source. I could then wasteland their wasteland. That's probably the best line for me. Protect my red source. Oh. Okay. Guess I'm dead. I could like play Horde Master there and try to flip sticker. But... Keep one Luxus. Realistically, the way these post board games play out is you just leyline them and then they try to kill you with your own creatures. And sometimes they'll have Brazen Borrower for leyline and you hope to fire blast it or you hope you have two leylines. The post board games are a real slog, but I feel pretty good about them. You just have to be willing to like actually dig for your leyline. I leave in the one Vandal for uh, Animate Dead, even though it might, might, makes my mana a little awkward. Uh, nope. This is good. Keep bottom a sticker. Actually, I'm just gonna bottom. Hmm. A bottom sticker. Reason being that, like, yeah, like if I have file and one sticker, that's like as much mana as I could need. I guess I could. 
grief reasons, maybe I do ditch one of them. I don't know. Or, or ditch this, but I like the insurance of, of a creature that I can uh, kill their small stuff with. Okay, Lackey is kind of bad, but could be worse. The plan on playing any challenges? Uh, maybe. I find challenges quite stressful. Just like the premier events, like I have to be in the right mindset for them. Like, if I had the QPs, I would play the showcase. Um, but I don't think I will have the QPs. So, decent chances Lackey gets to connect. If I don't draw anything, I'll probably just put in the sticker and leave the vial on two. Because, like, now that I have a ley line, the only ways I really lose are really bad beat down with, like, bow masters and hardcast griefs. Um, or borrower. Nice, this would be a Fatal Push slash Dismember Test. They do line up, yeah, the, the, the challenges are quite bad for UK time. Alright, Ethan Tomb is not what I want. Okay. Uh, I drew the Ancient Tomb, so I have I once again have more mana than I need, so I'm just going to put in my Grey Ogre. Probably the Bone Master. That's a lot scarier. So now the question is, do they have Entomb? Also a question of what do I want to... I will kill you grief. Kill the grief that's already dead. <laughs> I kind of wish I had a horde master to draw to. Chalices would also be good. Kind of forgot about my chalices. I think I'm going to leave Vile on two because of Battle Cry. If I draw a Matron, so be it. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. Calculated. So now they're at seven, so they can't uh, entomb, reanimate Archon or Atraxa. Battlecry is so good against this deck. Nice. Okay. So, do I want to do anything different? 
I think the anime dead thing is just not that real. So I think I just want more attackers. Oh, I'll put jump on because, uh, Bowmaster. Do I want chalices on the draw? I don't think so. I think I should have had them on the play. Double ley line? Let's go. I <laughs> can't breeze and borrow your way out of this one. And even better, I don't have, like, good cards in my hand, so I don't even care if I get griefed. Like, if they grief me and take, you know, these two, then I still have Vile. If they take these two, then I can go Mountain, Mountain, or Mountain Cavern, Mogwar Marshall, Pay Echo, you know? It's kind of good, no matter what. Well, I guess they can't double grief me because of aforementioned Playline. Wasteland's not bad. Could get dazed here, but not that big a deal. Yeah, really good seven. And the vial resolves. So if they play a duel here, I'll wasteland. If they don't, I'll cavern out Mogwar Marshal. looks really good. They probably just cast Bowmaster here. You know, I don't even think I put this lackey in. I want to line up lackey to show up when Pashlik Mons is in play. It's just like opponent can't pressure me in any meaningful way. So here's what's going to happen. Put in Mogwar Marshal. Opponent's going to think about Bowmastering it. We'll decide against it. Bow goes to three. We let this die. Lackey. Attack. Opponent's going to bow master the lackey. Or not. They just don't have it. Okay. Well, here's the thing. It works out for me either way. So I took the less risky line. Uh, yeah, I'll take my free damage.
So now they need to... They're dead. They, they can't move from here. Drafting of all kinds, scrap play rank. I don't even have Arena installed on my computer. So this is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, so I'm 2 damage short of lethal here, I think. Yes, this is Magic Online. Magic, um, Magic the Gathering with digital objects. Mm, a little late for that. That makes sense as like the thing they've been holding up. This is Red Black Goblins. Uh, it's John. There's two. There's two mass vandals. You can exclamation point uh, deck list to see my deck list. Takes you to a Twitter link. Down dies. There we go. All right. Pretty happy with how I played that. All right, let's see if we can get the four one. Stream uh, the plugin's a little wrong because I played a, league, a match off stream, and so it counts from the beginning of the stream. So we're actually three one right now. <laughs> Reaver Scarif, I'm great at work. <laughs> yep, yep, that is. <laughs> Just gonna blow my nose real quick. clicking. Alright, so yeah, this person's been playing, uh, oh wow, it's actual Maverick. Actual factual Maverick. Holy crap. How do I feel about this hand? Not great, but kind of feels like I'm going to get wasteland to die. Um, I feel like Turbo is a lot Worse versus the blue decks, basically. Um, and Vile, Vile specifically a lot better versus Delver. A um, couple other things as well. Combo decks are often better with Vile. 
Kind of depends on the combo deck, though. Alright, I've been vote mastered. Ooh, vile. Basic Swamp is kind of surprising. Um. <clears throat> This is this is a really interesting spot. I think it's a, a very close call on going Lackey Vile or just porting for a turn to keep my opponent off three mana because three mana is kind of the key mana for Maverick, and then going just Vile next turn, and then port, like, just slowing the game down a turn. Um, that could definitely backfire, but... The actually Maverick? I think so. <laughs> um, if I get Wastelanded... Hmm... GC for oof hurts. It kind of hurts, but I can prevent that with the port, and then Bombardiers can kill the oof. Sacking Lackey, probably. Yeah, I think I just port this turn. And I port white. Black, black white. I don't think black white taxes with Flavor and Catacombs. Hold on, I'm, I'm changing my mind here. Changing my mind here. I think I actually play Port. I think I play both cards, actually. Because if they play a Knight, unless it's a Fetch Land... Oh, I hope I didn't have 6 my turn already. Server's a little slow. Granted, uh, hmm. playing Lucky Vile's bad into a second Bow Master. But I kind of want, I kind of want the lackey. Well, hold on. Is there a difference between playing? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll play. I'll play. I'll play. I'll play vile lackey. It's also better against natural collector roof. Oh. Opponent disconnected. That's kind of a bummer. I'm not happy with that. I'm not happy with that at all. I can't, I wanted to play that game. I think that was an interesting game. Okay. Would it become... less interesting... drawing name sticker? Because then I can just go... sticker ringleader and probably win the game from there. So that'd be a... That's like a really good top deck. So I'd probably be favored either either line I took. Um... Yeah, I think I think the line there was Vi was Vile plus Lackey, and then with the hope that they go no fetch land knight. Um, ideally, they even attack. They probably wouldn't, but if they did, then I could go Bombardiers, sack Vile, attack. Uh, so kill the knight, connect with Lackey, put a ring reader. Um, and then drawing the sticker means that even if it was a fetch land, then the knight is still only a 4-4, a four four, and then it would die. So that'd be even better for me. So, kind of a, a shitty way to close it out. Here, I'll show I'll show chat my game against TNT at the start of the league. Um, 
is actually a pretty sweet one. So, tell my mom. Thalia. I waste end because I don't want to get my vial skyclaved. And I want to set up to go Lackey, double two drop into sticker. And also doing this means that the Lackey gets a uh, Bow Master, not the Horde Master. Drawing Vandal's pretty good. Opponent Solitude's the Battle Cry, which I think was probably a mistake. Uh, paper between. Uh... Yeah, sure. People do ask this a lot. So. Um, so online it's simple, right? It's just when there's a battlefield, if there's not nine of them, uh, you roll a 20 side die, you get uh, four mana, one through six, five mana, seven through 14, six mana, 15 through 20. Pretty straightforward. The reason it's like this is because in paper, um, with stickers at the beginning of each game, each game, not each match, each game, you have a sticker sheet and in each sticker sheet has three stickers on it. So you have, so you have st 10 sheets with three stickers on each sheet. Um, you get to choose that 10, this, uh, your 10 sheets, um, but at the beginning of each game, you randomize them and draw three randomly. And those sticker sheets, those three sheets are what you can use for the game. So that's why, because then that adds up to nine total, which is why that this on Magic Online doesn't work once you have nine copies. So it, it's a way to stop like infinites with like a Kiki Jiki or something like that, right? Um, or like conspicuous snoop type stuff. Though I guess this is uh, non activability. So um, anyway, the mana distributions are the same in Magic Online paper um, so that you, so like in paper, there's uh, one one of the 10 sticker sheets has a six on it, the delusionary sticker. Um, so 30% of the time you get six mana, I think is what the math is. Uh, so, so basically the, the EV on name sticker goblin versus paper and online is the same. The difference is uh, on Magic Online, you can roll the same dice roll multiple times. Um, and so, you know, you can technically make more mana across a game with multiple name sticker goblins being cast. Uh, but on in paper, a significant difference is that you know how much mana it's going to make before you cast it because you select the stickers pre-game. Um, so that has implications for mulligans. So like, say you're in a matchup that basically nobody has inter any interaction. Uh, you, you could theoretically just like, okay, I'm just going to mulligan. And, you, and if you have the, the six sticker, you could just like mulligan any hand that doesn't have like Ancient Tomb Spirit Guide sticker Muxus. Um, so you could mulligan as low as four to try to find like the nut draw. Um, so, and all, but it does cut both ways where your opponents know, can think to mulligan more aggressively, more defensively, actually, um, if you have like the six sticker. Um, and it can affect like whether or not they're going to spend a removal spell on it. So like if you have the four sticker, then they're going to be like, well, they might not have a Muxus in hand, so actually I can let this resolve. Or they like they might not be able to cast Muxus with four mana. Um, but there is like ambiguity, obviously, because like, what if you have a spirit guide? What if you have an ancient tomb? You know, kind of thing. Even sandbagging. Uh, so it's always kind of a, a mind game to that degree. Um, I think the paper version is slightly stronger because of the information aspect that you can use. Whereas Moto, you have to gamble. Um, 
but it's very close. All right, so back to this game here. Bring leaders, fantastic draw. I've been, I, I just like want something to do with my name sticker, and then I just like kind of go nuts. All right, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have clicked through that turn that quickly. <laughs> so name sticker, ring leader, finds name sticker, broadside bombardiers, cast broadside, attack, um, opponent double blocks. Activates mom. I don't even know why I found it double blocked because this is a 3 3. Um, and then I threw Namesticker at the mom in response to the ability. Got a Horde Master Trigger Druid Matron, which is insane. And my book is. <laughs> so. Pretty, pretty sick ring leader talk deck there. This hand I kept because as a pyrokinesis. I so I guess the matches today I've been I lost a goblins today through Lexus because I didn't have a pyrokinesis. Like their hands would have folded to pyrokinesis pretty hard. Um, so maybe I just needed to mulligan a bit more aggressively. So this hand, I'm just like waiting to draw a red card. Thalia makes the pyrokinesis a little bit awkward, but all right. So now, so now the this creates the game plan of just like I want to just delay the game as long as possible until I can bring leader plus pyrokinesis. Post that zone three. That's probably a good idea. So court play horde master. So now I'm like, okay, horde master. I'm fine pitching. Uh, I kind of figured there would be a stoneforge mystic. Stoneforge got Chite. And my opponent getting GTA kind of makes me think that they have Cauldra, um, because you almost always get Cauldra first against goblins. They legend rule their own Caracas to play the GTA. So now I bring leader, draw three cards. Bowmaster is good here just because it provides two bodies to stick GTA on. I decide not to block. Because I want them. Well, my our initial plan was to just vandal the GTA right now, but I'm a little wary about Flicker Wisp. So I am instead thinking about, you know, what can I do to just like pull out the Flicker Wisp? So attack first. Matron, upon activates file, I'm like, okay, I guess I'll just get Vandal. And then it's Eidolon of Rhetoric, which I did not see coming. But now I'm like, okay, I actually just have six mana, opponents missing land drops. I can just mux this here. And maybe the muxes will hit a Vandal. I try to cast my expert for a second, I'm like, oh. So I realized that I kind of need to use this Jump Palm right here, because although I don't want to kill... The Bowmaster, I kind of need to get it out of the way so I can use the Jump Palm in the first place. And I would like to just draw a card. Um, and this is my time to do it because unless my opponent Solitudes, which would be a waste of a Solitude, um, there's no way they can kill both Goblins. <laughs> I don't know, yeah. Opponent uses one GTA counter for kind of no reason. Recruited for Plague Engineer. It's kind of annoying given my hand. Two two more GTA counters. Um, and I can't Matron for Vandal in the same turn. So I decided to just spin the wheel on Moxus here. I have a lot of good hits. If I hit a name sticker, uh, they'll probably just shoot it down, but so I hit Horde Master Vandal. So Horde Master just dies, but that's fine. Um the Vandal is what I wanted. And Vandal and the Horde Master Trigger gives me the second Vandal, which is really good. So now gta has gone, and now I kind of can't lose. Um, so Yori on to hand. Opponent fetches kind of randomly. Kind of attacks 
I don't understand that attack. So now I clear out this this file, so nothing else can happen to me. Skyclave. It's fine since now I get to. I've protected my bombardiers. Waste on the Caracas. I still can't do as much as I would like because of the Eidolon. The Eidolon's actually like good here. I'm just another vial. So my hand is Yorion Unknown. And I'm trying to just set up to expert the, uh, the Plague Engineer. So I'm assuming my opponent's last card isn't Plow. It is not. So they drew Solitude. But can't can't lose from this position, basically. Bombardiers being bombardiers. Kill the Skyclave. Killing the Skyclave is actually really nice because the 2 2 uh, token, I get to just have extra fodder. Mm, game's very over from there. Just drew. I drew so many cards. Uh, it was just like card advantage of multiple matrons, a good ringleader, plus uh, horde master died and then gave me another vandal. So like the vandal was like a two for one and nested inside of a two for one. So yeah, my opponent got four GTA counters that game, but it wasn't like even close to how many cards I I was up. So. Another 4-1, so that's my third 4-1 in a row with Vile. Um, yeah, deck, deck's been really good. I, I like really have liked it quite a bit. The Rat King. Alright. I'm a filthy chest opener, so... Couldn't bring her Valkyrie... Uh, with a landed horn master, it's been good. Like it's died a lot, um, but it's been drawing me quite a lot of cards. Um, so at least for now, when there's a down to a slight downtick in bowmasters, and I've still been seeing a lot of bowmasters, but I think it it does it does kind of depend on whether or not you have vile. Um, because if you have vile, a lot of the time the bowmaster hits. Um, your lackey or your prospector first, and then your horde master sticks. And also sometimes they'll wait until you take up the vial to two. Because you just go end of turn lackey, then they're like, okay. Then you take up vial to two, attack with lackey, then you try to then they try to bow master it, and then you get to vial in the horde master, and then they're like, well, now I have to block as well. So they lose the army token, plus you maybe get a trigger. And so you might just like draw a free card off of that, so then it becomes a really good exchange, right? If you don't have the vial, it becomes a lot worse, because then you're like Lackey, main phase 2, cast Horde Master, then they can go ping Horde Master, block Lackey, and then it's like much, much worse. Um, do I think Vial's underplayed compared to Zero? Absolutely. Like, like, really underplayed compared to Turbo? I think Turbo is significantly overplayed. Um... Okay, nothing good yet. Mm. All right, some garbage. Um, but yeah, I think Vile, Vile's just like a different skill set and it's harder to play and you know, you don't get to nut drop people quite as hard as you do with the um, turbo. But like, you know, last stream I killed somebody on turn two because um, you do have turbo draws available to you. Um, and I think, I think you know, th this this match, this time notwithstanding, I think Vile tends to be favored in the mirror because you get to... You have more ways to stop Namesaker Goblin than they do. You have... Uh, the Mana Denial can really come into play because... Turbo Maxis actually like if you if you stuff the first name sticker goblin and then wasteland them, they like struggle to cast spells. Um, I think 
you just have a a better game plan versus them because their 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 secondary game plan is is just like two two beat down and goblins is like really good at blocking two two beat down. Um, so you know we got comboed in the two matches we lost, but that's like I didn't have a removal spell for any super goblin at any point, and that's like an important part of the matchup, and I probably disrespected it in how I the hands I kept. Um, so, you know, there's that. <laughs> and we were really close to stabilizing. The One Ring versions are harder for... I mean, they are and they aren't, right? Because, uh, like, Muxus is the trump card in the matchup. And I think you just have to... You have to, you have to identify that they're on the One Ring build, and then you can play significantly differently. Because if they're on the One Ring build, their life total becomes an issue a lot faster and their muxuses aren't nearly as good. So you can just like stop holding a removal and just start attacking them. Um, and also, you know, we, we have two vandals we can board in with, you know, uh, a million ways to find vandal. Like that's another nice thing about horde masters. It makes your deck a bit more consistent. So it's not only you have four matrons, you have four matron, three ring leader, two horde master, two muxes to all find your key goblins. Um, so the deck the deck is really good at finding what it needs. All right, that's that's enough spieling for me. Um, there should be a video coming out very shortly that I did with Thraven Yu. Um, Phil asked me to play Turbo Muxus for him. Um, against like basically Turbo Muxus's bad matchups. Um, this looks looks like it's not up yet, but um, I obliged. Kind of just just wanting to see like what a, what is the deck like really weak against. Um. And we played a couple of matches, so that'll go up soon. Uh, I'm not seeing any of the people I normally raid, so I will just cut the stream there. I think. Uh, yeah. All right. I'll be back sometime next week. Uh, I'll be. I'll continue to work on the separate guide for this list. I really like this list. Uh, I just I like how are all the cards line up in it. It's a little finicky in the sideboarding, but. Uh, 